on August 11, 2020, it has been confirmed that Halo Infinite will be delayed until 2021. What went wrong? Where did we go from here? We're about to talk about it. Let's get it. Cue that intro. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy FC Violet back again with another video. Do me a solid karate chop that like button and subscribe if you are new. And uh, make sure you hit that bell to get future notifications on my future videos. You dig? Uh, so let's get to it. The first part of this, um, I'm going to break this down in three parts. Part one, the why. Like, why did Halo Infinite get delayed? Now, I got this quote from The Verge, and I'm about to read it. Uh, it's a quote from Chris Lee, right? So it says, we have made the difficult decision to shift our release to 2021 to ensure that the team has adequate time to deliver a Halo game experience that meets our vision, says Chris Lee, studio head for Halo Infinite. The decision to shift our release is the result of multiple factors that have contributed to the development challenges, including the ongoing COVID-related impacts affecting us all this year. Uh, I want to acknowledge the hard work from our team at 343 Industries, who have remained committed to making a great game and finding solutions to development challenges. However, it is not sustainable for the well-being of our team or the overall success of the game to ship at this holiday. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, my thoughts on this actual cause. Anytime you read something, you always got to look into, you know, between the lines. Was COVID a factor? Yes, it was. Was it as big as people say? No. It's it's multitude of things. All right, it's a multitude of things. Um, so firstly, let's 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 break this down. What was the factors? Halo Infinite was in development. They did not start off with a new engine. There were I think they were using a different engine. I don't know if it was Unreal or something else that they were using. They transitioned into the slip space, which you saw. Uh, a demo of in 20, I want to say 18, 2018, you saw the demo of the Slip Space engine, which an announced Halo Infinite, right? Which would look cool and all that. Um, so you had the difficulties of making a brand new engine. It usually takes about a year, year and a half to almost two years. Now you also have the difficulties of also learning that engine while also making a new game at the same time with, with Halo Infinite. Had the difficulties of making the Halo Infinite an open world game, or at least more open in sections, as well as also doing what I like to call the balancing act, right? At first, I thought that I thought this could be done, and I feel like it could be if executed properly. And this is where this is where the main part of the delay happened. Right? Picture me myself being a human, right? You are you are three four three. One hand, you're building an engine, you're trying to create it to, to make Halo Infinite. Other hand, you also have to make the games fit Xbox One, Series X, PC, all those things, right? You start to try to juggle or hold all these things. That's when, that, that's when, that's when you can start to have problems. On top of having a new engine, on top of having COVID factor. When that stuff happens, you start to drop the ball in certain areas, right? And that came to fruition when we saw the demo. Graphically, did it scream next gen? No. It looks like a current gen game. It does. Looks like a current gen game. Now, me being a Halo fan, it has always been about the gameplay for me. It looked good, it looked good enough to pass, but was it what? a flagship title for next gen no i think they pushed it for xbox series x um in in hindsight they should have just made it an xbox one game that had the smart delivery to the visuals the ray tracing and all that to to the series x a little bit of less pressure on the developer they put a lot of pressure on 343 to, to deliver fortunately due to them I guess with the with the recent feedback of the demo and 
The fact is like people working on, not working in the, in the studio and then having issues with, I would imagine severe, severe crunch. They're like, man, it's just probably would be better to delay it. All right. So that's why I delayed it. And like I said, it's a multitude of things, not just one thing. And at least in my opinion, I could be wrong, but it's not just, it's not just COVID. COVID, engine having issues with it. It's one of the issues like learning, trying to understand a new tech and working with it and building it over time. It's not like Guerrilla Games. They, they made a tech back in the PlayStation 3, worked it throughout the, throughout the generation and then built upon it and stuff like that to give you Horizon Zero Dawn, you know, things like that. This is a brand new engine that they're working on, which will have its own problems. That is like work. It's like it's like using new software without any updates. You're gonna find bugs everywhere. So I could be wrong. Like I said, this is all my opinion. Everything is not non-factual based up the quote. Everything is my opinion. Take that with a grain of salt. But this is me, goddamn it. So I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. So that is it when it comes to the the, the part one of of why this happened, why the delay, right? And part two is the, the effect delay causes. First, I'm gonna get the, the, I guess the negative part of it up first. Now, as Halo fans or Halo fans that are looking forward to playing a new Halo after five years and not playing one, it's a bummer. It's a bummer, bummer, bummer for those who wanted to play Halo. Me being a Halo fan, I wanted to play it too, but I didn't mind the delay and I'll get to that part. Two, people who wanted that big AAA game at launch, they're not going to get it with Halo. I don't think there is another big AAA game at launch for Series X, unfortunately. And, you know, that, 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 that's the negative. And then they took a lot of shit from that, from, I'm sure, ponies and, and, and people who don't really like Halo. It's always funny getting opinions from from, from people who don't, have never played a Halo game or shot a PR. Giving me thoughts about 343 like, bro, you've never touched Halo. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. But anyway, let's continue. So those are some of the things, some of the negative effects of, of having a delay, right? Because the game will be pushed back, don't have anything for the launch lineup when it comes to Halo big as Halo. There are games of the launch lineup that you must like the medium, which is Series X. For those console guys, and I'm not talking about PC, I'm talking about just console guys, you still have games to play if you want to upgrade to the Series X that are just for the Series X. As a, you know, if you're just using the console. So don't be dis discouraged from buying a new console. If you want to buy a new console, buy it, you upgrade it. People say, why are you buying a Series X? Same reason why you upgrade your PC. Same reason. Upgrade your model of TV. Heck, get it. You know there's going to be games for it. Series X is not being canceled. It's being delayed a year. Or, and now that's the next question I have. Delayed. The reason why I said it's good. That. Once they said that they were not going to have ray tracing support. Day one. Delay. Instantly in my mind. Delay. I didn't care what Rand Thor said, and I didn't care what anyone else said. I'm like, no, you can't be missing features. That's something I was never for. Not, do not not delay and, and patch it in, man. We've been doing that all gen about launching a game half-ass, add it over time, build it, build it, build it, build it. You gotta have really great patience to be able to do that. But over time, you're still hurting your initial image of the game. A la Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves became a greater game down the road, but had they launch it with more stuff or maybe update a game preview model, it would have. I think it would have been I think better received, in my opinion. But they launched it a full price game with nothing in there. It was fucking bare bones. But anyway, about Halo. So it is good that it's being delayed because. You cannot have, you cannot be missing features, right? You cannot be, not, you cannot have ray tracing at launch of a Series X title or Series X console that utilizes ray tracing. 
That is no bueno. Not good. No excuse for that. Because it couldn't have that stuff, it needed to be delayed. That's where I jumped on board. I was like, no, delay it immediately. The gameplay looked fine. The gameplay looked great, actually. For a Halo game, for those who know Halo, it's about the gameplay. And I, I think I've touched, touched upon that topic. We're not talking about the, 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 the factors of it. You know, visually, okay, cool. I think visually, it's really hindered by open world, by meeting the demands of 60 frames. I think they're trying to push 4K, 4K, 60, open world game with an art style that is akin to the older games. Same time, utilizing and trying to put it on three platforms. The PC Series X pipeline is not as big as the PC Xbox One pipeline. Meaning the specs are very similar. Always go for the top, right? The PCs will always be the top. Going from the top of line PC down to the Series X isn't that big of a jump. It's a jump, but it's not that big of a jump. Because Series X is going to be a beast. The Xbox One, not the One X, the One. The jump is massive, right? It could be done, but I feel like, was it worth it? Was it worth the having this issues and pushing the game out like another year because of that? That's where I get to the last point. I apologize for making this video long, but I had to say this. Part three. What do I want to see happen? with this delay and everything else. Though people are not gonna agree with me, I want them to drop the Xbox One X support or Xbox One support. Selfishly, that is what I want to happen. Why? If the game was delayed, say spring, then it could then still launch with the, with the Xbox One and that'd be cool because it's only delayed a couple months, right? It's still technically cross-gen. To me, it doesn't make sense to have a cross-gen title a year after launch of your new console. Does not make any sense. I have a feeling this game is going to launch holiday 2021, the anniversary, I guess, of Halo, which is a, it's a big deal and all that. It, it's not launching with the console, but the whole anniversary, it just, it kind of, it kind of fits almost, but drop the Xbox One support. Will leave this relieve the devs of a 100 pound weight on their shoulders, right? 343 is hella stressed out because of all the demands they have to do. And I want to get this notion out of the way 343 is a, a good and great developer. They have made the best looking Halo games by far. Bungie's Halos have never been pretty. Never been pretty. Four and five, they look great. It looked great. That that's why I have people looking at me like graphically, these things I always made the better looking Halos. Halo Five made the best, better looking, better looking and better multiplayer than Bungie's Halo. Bungie's last multiplayer was Reach, and Reach's multiplayer is ass compared to Five. Not even close. Anyway, so enough of that. They need to drop the Xbox One support. They need to drop it if it's going to launch Holiday 21. Instead of wasting money and resources on a on a port of a game to make it cross-gen a year later after launch, they should take the bite the bullet, focus the resources on the PC model and the Series X. You know, maybe have that Xbox One, Xbox One team focus on. I don't know, detail of fixing like the, the textures that they're missing while also, or maybe adding, be able to have ray tracing and having all the things you need, right? Basically complete the game the way it should be completed. And this experiment of the whole cross and shit should def definitely die. It was an experiment and it failed, point blank. If you didn't notice, like Phil said, I'm, I'm giving, it's up to the teams to to make it cross-gen if you want to. I feel like this one was a little bit on Microsoft pushing it to be cross-gen when this game should have launched with the Xbox One. But because they wanted the Series X, you're adding new tech on top of new tech. Like, that's a recipe for disaster, man. A recipe for disaster. But I still have faith in 343. Why? Because they're, they're good developers. 
They are definitely talented. It's not, it's not a talent, talentless studio. Are they growing pains? Yes. This is going to be their, what, fourth game, technically? Four, five. Halo Wars 2, which they collabed with, uh, I think, Creative Assembly. And boom. Halo Infinite, which is their version of Halo. Because they dropped the number and it is their version of Halo. Let them use their skills, but at the same time, don't handicap the developer. Let them make it just for the Series X. Take the flag, Microsoft. Take it. What stops all negative press? A great game. A great game stops that. For example, The Last of Us 2 did not launch with multiplayer. Correct me if I'm wrong, The Last of Us 1 launched with multiplayer, right? Obviously, everyone's having delay issues and issues with gaming and, and everything going on with a whole bunch of stuff going on with Naughty Dog and, and all that stuff that was reported. They still made a pretty damn good game, The Last of Us 2, but it didn't come with multiplayer. <laughs> it was missing features, which I'm not a big fan of. You know, but I guess it gets a pass. Anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with me? What do you think was the cause what do you want to happen let me know in the comments below make sure you if you are listening to this first time you like what you heard karate chop that like button subscribe if you are new and uh you know, i'm still looking forward to the halo infinite it's still gonna be fire no matter what the haters say it's still gonna do well this is this is it's halo baby the king is back anyway this is fc violent I'm out of here and always remember, keep it gaming. We out of here. Peace.